Hello, in this tutorial we will show how to estimate a regression model on latent variables with the involvement of a mediator. So to do that we would be either able to use the STM command or we can do that manually through the click and go. So I would first show you how to do that in clicks. So I would do that by following a click on statistics then i will find out the SEM parallel so that is SEM and structural equation modeling and i will click on the first option in the menu that is model building and estimation that will open a small window that is actually the SEM builder and is a uh, strata and i can draw the path diagrams here so i would uh, design it very quickly to save some time and i can identify a latent variable with all its components that is the absorbed variable as well so I will click on that and then draw my dependent variable just by clicking on the place where I want to draw my dependent variable. I will name it uh, according to my model that is competency. I can either draw a blank diagram with the absorbed variables or I can select uh, the predefined variables in my data set that I can see here. So that is on the main state of software uh, in the side open to that we can see at uh, so I would select those variables that define competency. These are the items that I would be using. Um, I can identify how to locate the items to be above or to the left or right of the latent variable. So I can use this uh, small box and I can uh, use the right because uh, looking at the right of these variables would be fine for me. So I would click on OK. I can see that the variable competency that is the latent variable drawn in all and absorb variables in the boxes and corresponding residual errors are drawn and then I would define my independent variables as we do it most of the times at the left side of the window on the SEM variable so I would click there and define my variable that is a CSOR and I would select those variables that define CSOR from the data and uh, I would uh, use a left option so the items are on the left side of the latent variable and now I will draw my dependent variable that should be above and between the two uh, and I would uh, name it likelihood of the uh, behavior that we want to estimate uh, that we need to see whether that determine the relationship between CSOR and competency so I can identify the items as well and uh, I would see these items to be above the let, uh, latent variable so I can see it uh, later on when I will be resizing the window so actually this is the latent variable and the items are above it and it is hidden now but we would just and we can identify how to do that and now I would connect my independent variable to the mediator and then mediator to the dependent variable and I can also expect a direct relationship as well uh, between the independent and uh, the dependent variable and let me adjust the window and then let me resize it uh, that should be 8 and 6 so I can see the variables are here on my screen so uh, once it is done uh, we have defined our uh, mediation regression model between the independent and independent variable with the, the mediator I will click on estimation and then estimate so straight up would estimate the model if uh, there is no missing value I can use the simple maximum likelihood option and if there is a missing value in the data set then I can use the second option so I would go with the first option and click ok in a few seconds data uh, would produce the results and you can see that the coefficients in the, the factor loadings are given and uh, we can interpret these results and we can also see the same results on Stata and uh, we, that is very convenient for us to find out these results in uh, the table and we can identify the, the relationships between the variables whether these are significant or not significant uh, and similarly between the latent variable and the corresponding items the factor scores etc and we can identify that and, and later on we can find out any further tests based on the mediation analysis so i would click on statistics post estimation and then i can identify the relevant test from here whether, whether there is any for example direct and indirect relationships on the score tests etc 
in any other test bed we want to do that and similarly i can identify any specification test based on writer and any other related uh, specific test for, for that so to, to determine whether the mediation analysis is good or bad so i'm sure that this simple introduction to mediation analysis and data would help us begin uh, our workshop very deeply and we will understand the key issues in mediation analysis so i would welcome you to uh, our uh, structural equation modeling workshop and stata next week weekend and thank you very much